Would you say that you're an expert? Yes. No. <laughs> no. You don't need to. You don't need to be an expert. <laughs> no, you don't. It's not too much of a suit for somebody that's kind of intermediate. It's an awesome stepping stone from the Swift, and it definitely has the speed and power and a lot of range. But it doesn't feel too big and overwhelming. Like it's a really awesome suit to fly, and it feels very comfortable. I would recommend an ATC to somebody who's serious about flying who wants to grow into larger wingsuits but learn how to do it well and to enhance the techniques and the baseline skill set that they already have from their smaller suit. The Swift 2 was a really good suit to kind of learn the dynamics in which you need to fly. The ATC is the next level up. The best thing about the ATC is it has the power to fly with a bigger suit, but you can still shut it down and fly with a smaller suit. I am a light 110 pound girl, but in that suit, I can still stay with everybody. It's got a lot of range, it's got drive, it's got lift, you know, you name it, I can take it to the group. And that's what I like most about the ATC is it's really versatile. I think it's underestimated a little bit because it's seen as kind of an intermediate suit and everybody kind of just wants to jump to the freak. Um, but I'm able to keep up with Jeb and his freak and fly open and stable and we're able to kind of dive together and am I saying that right? Like I don't even know the right lingo. <laughs> um, I'm fairly newer to wingsuiting. I've only been wingsuiting for about a year so far. Um, I've got so far 200 jumps in the ATC and to be honest it's really hard to get it off. I mean, <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. As a load organizer, it is an awesome all-around suit. It enables you to fly with all kinds of groups, big and small, um, and it's just a great tool uh, on the drop zone. The suit is just so well designed that as soon as you flip over, immediate pressure. It feels amazing. We hear a lot from pilots who fly gripperless designs that move into the ATC, and in almost every case, they're shocked by the amount of performance and also by how it's just as easy to fly as a gripperless design, but the feeling of power and range and performance is just in a totally new category without being more difficult. I feel really comfortable in it, and it's really easy to fly, shockingly easy, and it almost wants to fly itself. That was good. And it really does. The ATC is perfectly down the middle. It is the 100% the, the universal suit that goes all the way across the boundaries. It's got power, it's got speed, it's got manageability, front, back, side to side. If I've got my ATC, I know I'll be able to jump with anyone, whether they have a small suit or a free.